So it is time to take a look at the Sherman Jumbo. Now I know I am a little bit late on this, uh, but it is time to check this thing out. And the Sherman Jumbo is very interesting. It is one of the more heavily armored Shermans. Uh, it's designed to be able to deflect uh, and survive a direct impact from the Panthers and from the Tigers, which does require a very, very tough frontal armor, but it does have a weak spot at uh, I'll come to, but first let's take a look at the, at the stats. Now, it, ha it has a 76.2mm main gun, it, its top speed is 35 km per hour, it is slower than the usual Sherman's, but the extra added armor does have weight to it, reverse 5 km per hour, specific power is 13 horsepower per ton, it weighs 38 tons, 5 crew member, 134mm is the average penetration, reload 5.9 seconds, and well, now we come to the armor part. This thing's frontal plate. In tier 3, tier 4 is probably the most heavily armored vehicle uh, in, its, uh, in its tier. But the weak spot is the machine gun port. That's where you shoot the tank if you want to kill it. So the machine gun port is your uh, main weak spot, uh, so that's basically what you have to be hiding if possible, but the whole frontal plate, the turret from the front is very, very, very armored, and again, uh, the KV-220 and the Sherman Jumbo are the two most heavily armored tanks in, in tier 4, and this thing is really strong. Uh, I'm not even joking, it's ridiculously fun to drive this thing. And if you... I mean, I, I hope you got the vehicle, because it would really be a waste not to get the Sherman Jumbo. It's a free tank from the event. The tier 4 models are uh, usually free. Uh, it did take me a while to get this thing though, that's true. I wasn't that lucky. The snail did not like me for some reason, even though I'm... Uh, playing the game quite often and uh, I play the game quite quite often when I say quite often uh, every day uh, sometimes I actually think I click too much but the snail did not approve and the snail said I'll get the tank on the very end that's basically what happened anyway uh, if you oh that's a that's a nice ammo rack explosion there now the ve this vehicle is well, that's a second nice Amorak explosion. I need to stop blowing up Amoraks on tanks because I can't finish. That's a third one in a row. <laughs> okay, that was some a nice firework to start the show with. Uh, so, uh, you should be angling the, the jumbo, but of course be careful not to show the, the machine gun port. That's the, that's like the main uh, weak spot as I already mentioned on the very start. But the main gun on this Sherman is actually really good. Uh, it is definitely better, the, the, the gun is better than the 76 that you get on the other classic premium Sherman Jumbo. It's that is within the tier. So th this vehicle is a very nice little overpowered killing machine. Of course it is not uh, entirely impossible to kill. Bomb skillets, high caliber HE shells kill it. Rockets kill it. You can overpressure this vehicle, and it is not the fastest. I, I think the, the, the jump might be the slowest Sherman that we have at the moment, but honestly, its speed isn't really the main like, selling point of the vehicle. The main selling point for this thing is its armor. The armor is ridiculous. Uh, and it is one of the more enjoyable tanks to drive around. How did I even kill that tank? I have no idea, but that was a very, very, very nasty hit. And just like that, you are not even like three minutes into the battle, and I am on seven kills with this thing. I mean, the frame rate does definitely help. Uh, let me just make it more fair, okay? Re reduce the frame rate. And a VK3002M. 
Now the Shaman Jumbo is designed to basically fight tanks like that, so let's see if the armor will live up to the expectations against a tank that's well technically designed to to fight with. I, I kind of forgot what was the thickness. Uh, 100 millimeters or 152 millimeters was the frontal armor plate on the Jumbo. I need to double check that, but I know that this thing had a very, very thick frontal armor plate. It's also angled, and the angle does help a lot with deflecting shells. I mean, deflecting shells. You will, if you are inside of the, of the tank and you get hit by by 88. Even though you might survive, you probably remember that hit for the rest of your life because these things are like. I can only imagine the sounds inside of the tank when a shell hits it. It must, it must hurt the ears a lot. So yeah, you definitely will remember the, remember that. That, that VK plays with... I mean, yeah, they can't pet at my armor. I think the turret can be a weak spot. Yes, it was! Okay, right in the turret. And the VK was destroyed. That's, that's kill number 8, by the way. Kill number 8, and we have a bomber. Let me see if I can kill the bomber. I love this little... I love this fighter. This is, this is a very fun little... A fun little fighter, although I love how none of my bullets love look at that, how many how many times did I hit that bomber and it still keeps on flying, you cannot make that up that bomber just ate like 300 shells and it can't fly, technically that was kill number 9 or 8, 10 kills, 1 Aircraft kill, but looks like we will lose the match. Not much I could do. Not much I could do about that. I was holding this 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 position here because there have been quite a lot of tanks coming this way. Oh well. Nonetheless, it was still a good match, so not going to complain too much about that. Let's go to the next one. Now, one good thing with the Jumbo, uh, since you do have a good gun, you have good armor, and you do have a very good gun depression, you can lower the gun quite a bit. So, that kind of does make this thing a very interesting candidate for a sniper. And that's exactly what I am about to test out. So, I arrived at my favorite position, probably one of my favorite positions of, of the whole game, really. You come here and you snipe. Now that's a tier 5 tank. Tier 5 or not, doesn't matter. That was a, that was a very accurate hit, by the way. Straight through the lower plate, right in the ammo. That's just lovely. That was a very good. Yeah, that's the first kill as well. Next, T3485. Well, that bounced, hit the dirt. Okay. The, the good thing is, they can't penetrate my armor from this range. It's uh, a little bit impossible for the, for the enemy team to actually penetrate my tank from this distance. There are a few vehicles that can do that. Very few. The M18 could potentially be one. But the M18 has a lot of other problems now, so I'm not really worried about that. And I'm also trying to only show my my turret. Now the big guns like the SU-152 and the 122, they, they can, they can be scary. High explosives on these sh on these big guns can kill the vehicle. So if I do see one of these, they have to be like killed immediately. Uh, since one HE shell and and well I'll be over pressured so I have to be careful not to let the big guns shoot at me or should I say I need to kill the big guns before they kill me that's just how it goes 
Now let's see, where should I drop the bombs? Well, it's one little, one little bomb for you and one little bomb for you. And let me crash the bomber. Why did I crash the bomber? Well, to go back to the tank. And we have a M36P1. What is... Well, they are at the top of the hill there. That tank has HE80FS. So, yeah, that has over 300 minutes of penetration. And that tank can kill me, so I need to kill that tank before it kills me. I love how one high explosive shell and yeah, crew knocked out. Overpressured. Beautiful. That's what happens when you have a open turret. We have a tiger first shell, kill the gunner and the driver. Can I pet a tiger from this distance? Yes, I can. This thing is ridiculously fun to use because it penetrates tigers like a hot knife through butter but the tiger cannot penetrate you that's really funny when you think about it the 3485 destroyed that was a very very accurate hit as well guess who is about to get bombed yes you guessed correctly it's me I am always a magnet for aircraft, for bombers, for for all type of aircraft. If we had like, if we had UFOs, I can guarantee you there would be a UFO floating right above my tank. It's just at this moment it's a just look at that another one, another fighter bomber trying to to get me. A Yak Panzer 38D, oh my god, another bomber. That was a lucky one. Actually, not a lucky one. I hit them. They took a bunch of hits. Had such a lower plate, it bounced, or actually did not hit the lower plate, it hit, they hit the upper plate, okay. I killed the aircraft, and the Hatzer killed the Tiger, and someone else killed the Hatzer. Alright, that's fine. Let's see, I'm in the bomber now, okay. This is a very weird, uh, weird bomber slash fighter. It's, I mean, I, I don't even know what this thing is. It's an it's a experimental aircraft that does have a very interesting design. A propeller at the front and a propeller at the back. I mean, if you get hit in the back, you lose the propeller, right? So you lose your one engine. Not exactly a very... Uh, effect, effective design, I guess. Oh, a Centurion Mark One. Now you might be thinking, well, a Centurion, kind of scary, right? Well, not really. <laughs> I'm not really worried about a Centurion because it can't penetrate. But I can penetrate the Centurion. So, yeah, there we go. Run, nice hit in the side of the turrets, and the tank explodes. So the ammo. This thing does get explosive APC, BC, which is one of the better shells that we can get for this tier. I mean, this is like the exact same, I think it's one of the exact same shell types we get on the T29, which is tier 6, so you do get a very good shell, uh, does do damage when it penetrates, and that's basically all that matters. It's definitely better than uh, APCR. I mean, APCR, I just... I don't like that shell type at all, it's uh, it's cursed. APCR is cursed. Uh, so, yeah. Oh, who could have guessed? Uh, another bomber. Well, actually it wasn't fine, but yeah. I love when, when they do that. It's actually fairly simple to destroy a fighter that's headed your way. And it's basically doing a nose dive right at you. Just shoot it with the machine gun and yeah, move and you get a kill. That's how easy it is because they crash the aircraft, you get a kill for scratching their paint basically. Oh look, we have a target. PT78B. No, I, that, that has a 90 or a 75 millimeter main gun. It does get H. E80FS which can penetrate my tank so that can potentially be 
A little threat, but that's a very slow... That's a very slow armored vehicle. That's a very slow armored vehicle, so I'm not really... Uh, not really too worried about it. It is way too slow for my taste. It has no armor and has no speed. And while the gun can penetrate, the PT-76 has HE-80 FS and we all know, we all know how HE-80 FS, how much damage it does, how low caliber HE-80 FS performs when it penetrates a target. It doesn't do all the damage, which is the main problem with HE-80 FS. It is effective at penetrating targets. But when you need something destroyed, yeah, good luck with that. I mean, you can, but you will just spend like 50 shells to kill something. In, in rare occasions, of course, but in, in most cases it does take like good 3, 4, 5 hits to kill something with a uh, smaller caliber HE ATFS round. Meanwhile, the classic AP, just one little shot. And boom, tank is dead. Or in this case, just use the machine gun because the PT has no armor. And it will shred it. And just like that, we are on 7 kills. This match did take a while though, this was longer battles. But I don't mind, definitely a good match. Good, good battle. Definitely a good battle. And now let me slowly creep up toward this little building. This is actually a very good position here. We can get a good view on the enemy, but I personally prefer that little hold down position in the sand because it, it is more far away and you get a very good view on the whole side of the map. Wish that the other sides uh, had the same position or a similar position because the side that, I'm, that I started on has a big starting advantage. If you know that position, go there because it's one of the best positions that we can get on that map, on that game mode. And now, let's see what happens in the next battle. The baguette got hit in the turret. Oh, I am in some trouble now. Yeah, I can't move. Let me angle the armor. The jumbo destroys the whole enemy team. It's a Tiger T-3485 and a Sherman. Well, that's... Well, I mean, the, the Tiger became a... The Tiger lost the turret now. Okay. And the Sherman lost the turret as well. Both have been ammo wrecked. And I'm alive. Somehow bounced like the shells of four or five tanks there. Killed two of them. And damaged two others, which is fine. This is a very good starting position for the jumbo. Just angle. I missed the baguette. A headser and the I'll just kill the baguette first. I don't like that that thing is still alive. Oh, a comet one has a PDS. A comet can penetrate, so and it did penetrate. I lost my loader. T3485. Let's shoot right there. It's one tank less. Uh, head, sir. I don't really see well through the smoke. Well, I fired one shell blindly. Okay, fair enough. That was definitely a very very fast start a very fast start i'll use the bomber i'll angle the armor Hetzer killed i mean killed not killed i missed hit the hit the wheel on the track and let's do a good old flying wing bombing run this i like actually i do like this bomber it gets the job then i mean get the job then it's huge, it's sometimes impossible to kill for whatever reason. And it has bombs, so let me drop the bombs and let's crash. 
back in the tank. I killed one tank and I killed the driver and commander on the headser. That's a double kill with the bombs actually, not bad. Oh well, let's keep shooting the headser until it until it doesn't have any crew left. Because I don't really have a different option at this moment. The lower plate on the head so is basically the weak spot and you have to shoot until it until the tank is disabled. Just a couple more shells. One more crewmer is left alive and there we go. Headser has been destroyed. And we are on six kills by the way. How was that? This was this was actually one of the more action-packed battles for right? That that start was really wild. Did not expect the whole enemy team to just show up out of the blue there. Kind of surprised me. I expected like one or two tanks, not five, not the whole enemy team there to, to just look at me and I somehow survived all of them. That was a good victory. Well, it would be a good victory at least. Let's see if... I get to, to shoot at some more tanks. At, but I don't think that's going to happen at, at the moment. Yeah, I think the enemy team has been complete. Yeah, that's that's a victory. So that would be for the sh that would be it for the Sherman Drama for today. This is honestly a ridiculously fun to drive vehicle. I love it, and I definitely definitely recommend that you try and get this vehicle because it is insanely fun but with that being said hope you guys enjoyed if you would like to support me feel free to like and subscribe and with that being said stay safe and as always i'll see you next time